Jeff, there's <clears throat> six more legislative days left in this session. So I'm assuming it's not going to go through the, in the next six days. However, that doesn't mean it's going to be stalked. I mean, it doesn't mean it won't go through. They'll just save it till the next time they meet, right? So here's where we're looking at. They've got six days to pass a piece of legislation to raise the federal debt ceiling. Right. Some people are saying if you don't pass the reconciliation bill with the huge infrastructure package in it, I won't vote for the debt ceiling. Some people are saying we got to do the debt ceiling first and then the infrastructure. So we've got all sorts of squabbling. But I'm going to tell you this right now. And I want everybody to listen to me, folks. This is not an uphill fight. Mm. This is a 50-50 chance we win this thing. Mm. If we can shut this thing down over the next six and seven days, which means you have to take action today and tomorrow, because I bet you there's going to be a vote on Monday. We've got to let our voices be heard. If we can get this thing shut down to where they don't have enough votes to pass it, we have dodged a bullet for a little while longer. But this doesn't mean anything more than we won the battle, but we still got a huge war to go fight. Okay? Right. And the war is going to be this. You've, we've got to keep this thing from passing. We've got to keep these things out until the House flips in about 14 or 15 months. Because the House is going to flip. And so we got to hang on to this thing for like 15 months and then we got okay. a chance to breathe. 